video is about how to backfill your intraday data so that you can start with uh, several months of data in most cases rather than the two or three weeks uh, that you get when you download for the first time. We update oh, three or four times a week a file called historical.zip that contains the updated and backfilled intraday uh, files. Now you can access this file on the download the 14 day trial page uh, with this link download the zip file or you can enter the link directly into your browser and that will download the historical.zip file and the key is to naturally remember where you downloaded it to uh, on most browsers it will download to my documents my downloads uh, but you can also in most cases have the option to save it any place you want but use your system tools uh, found in system my computer to navigate to the directory you save the file in and then unzip the file and after you unzip it uh, you'll see about five th you'll see about 1,000 uh, five-minute data files uh, in this case it's 1,084 to be uh, precise now you notice that not all the files will be completely up to date and that's just the way that Google and Yahoo plays uh, and I don't really have a complete explanation for that but of the 1,000 plus files the greater majority are completely up to date and those are the ones that you want to use but you just copy you can use your control key and your mouse clicks to copy uh, uh, several at a time you want to copy them and you paste those copied files to your Swingmaster data directories now these directories are created when you install the program so don't change the name they're uh, absolutely essential but you want to paste those files into either the Swingmaster Google data intraday directory or the C Swingmaster Yahoo data intraday directory and now once they're in the proper directories there has to be one other step let's say you pasted them to the Yahoo intraday directory you then have to go to the Yahoo EOD uh, tab on the downloader and you have to enter the symbols of each of the files you've downloaded that you want to update and then save the changes in this case we save them to portfolio one but you want to be sure and click save the changes so that the updater will know to update those files you can save them in any portfolio you want as long as they're in the matching directory in other words you can't copy and paste the five minute files into the Google directory and then hope they'll update from the Yahoo EOD portfolios that won't work it's got to be the matching directory but once you copy paste and update your portfolios uh, whenever you update all it'll just build on everything that you have uh, on file that you've saved and it's the same as if you had been doing it for the last few months okay I hope this is uh, useful to you if you have any questions uh, you can email me or, or call me if it's uh, if it's an emergency.